friends today in this video we will learn interesting things related to the months of the year hey chotu why are you continuously changing the pages of this calendar uncle you had taught how many days are there in which month but now i have forgotten that's why i was looking at this calendar and memorizing it do you want to learn how to remember all the days of the months without looking at the calendar yes yes please teach me uncle okay i will teach you first of all move both hands forward like this now look here The long months with thirty-one days are the elevated parts of the fingers, and the short months with thirty days come at the places between the fingers. But February has twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. Hmm. There are thirty-one days in the months of January, March, May, July. August, October, and December. Very good, Chotu. Yes, and there are thirty days in this four months: April, June, September, and November. Yes, just remember. Months with thirty days are four, and there are seven months with thirty-one days. Yes, uncle. There are four months of thirty days and seven months of thirty-one days, and February is the month of twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. Oh wow! Very good, Chotu. Uncle, will you help me do my homework? Chotu. You do your homework on your own every day? Yes, but in today's homework against the names of these festivals, I have to write in which month they come. But I can't figure out which festival comes in which month. Okay, I will help you understand. Then you do your homework yourself. Okay. Look The Christmas festival is celebrated on 25th of December in the memory of Jesus Christ. Okay. So Christmas comes in the month of December. Yes, and Janamashtami is the festival of the birth of Shri Krishna. It is celebrated in the month of August. And in which month do Lohri, Uttarayan and Pongal come? These three festivals are celebrated in the month of January. Oh, so these three festivals come in the same month. Yes, Chotu. Lohri in North India, Uttarayan in Gujarat, and Pongal in South India. In this way, all three festivals are celebrated in the month of January. Yes, I understand, Uncle. This is the festival of Durga Puja. It is celebrated in East India as a symbol of victory of good over evil. This festival is celebrated in the month of October, right? Yes, that's right. The festival of Holi is celebrated in the month of March in Central India. Uncle, Holi is a festival of colors. I like it very much. I too like it. Come on, now tell me, Independence Day comes in which month? Oh, I can never remember in which month Independence Day and Republic Day are celebrated. <laughs> Chotu, our country India got independence from the Britishers on fifteenth August. Independence Day is celebrated in the month of August to mark this occasion. And in which month is Republic Day celebrated? 
Republic Day is celebrated on the 26th of January. On this day, the Constitution of India was implemented. Oh, now I understand. Uncle, now I will be able to do my homework easily. This is very good. You do your homework. I will leave now. Yes. Christmas festival comes in the month of December. Chenmashtami festival comes in the month of August. The festivals of Lohri, Uttarayan and Pongal come in the month of January. Durga Puja is celebrated in the month of October. Holi in the month of March, Independence Day in the month of August and Republic Day in the month of January. Homework is done! Friends, today in this video, we learned interesting things related to the months of the year. In the next video, we will familiarize ourselves with the seasons.